Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever all around the world. My name is Sifu Brian, and it is the 6th of September 2020. Welcome to my weekly quote, guys. Let's get straight to it. Don't just teach your children to read, teach them to question what they read. George Carlin, most definitely. This is a fantastic quote, fantastic quote. You know, nowadays children don't seem to question and I think it's the way they've been taught in the schools and um, we need to have a big overhaul of these schools, really, a big overhaul and we see it in our, in our media, our media of, is, it, it's very much a one-sided story in our media and anyone that goes up against the narrative, they're cut off. So we really need to question this, but this is a phenomenal quote. And just um, going into the martial arts about about what we teach the children. We teach the children. I like to teach the old ways and have those old standards of 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 virtue and and honor and and of. Um, respect having respect for your elders respect for another for one another respect for different cultures respect just respect in general and having that 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 warrior spirit that warrior spirit is powerful and that's about protecting yourself protecting other people protecting your family and also that your word is your bond so important if you say something you mean it so many people nowadays they say things off the top of their tongue like it's nothing and they don't mean it this is something we we must address we must bring back the old ways yeah the old masters had these virtues they were honorable people we were losing that honor we must get back to that now, as this quote says, don't just teach your children to read, teach them to question what they read. We, we've got to do it because the media is not doing it. With what we've been flooded in every single day with fear and this and that, it, it, it's not teaching us anything. We've got to go in and do our own research. This, in the palm of my hand, is one of the most powerful computers in the world. Almost everyone's got one of these things. We've got no excuses. We can research. We can we can look into things. And I think we need to be doing that. Now, something I read the other day was that, um, well, let's see, uh, uh, two weeks ago, there was a march in London. And it's about Save Our Children. Now, the media, or I have to call them fake media, because they're fake, they didn't report on it and uh, it was about our children saving our children from paedophilia and um, there were people marching not just in in London but all around the world in the USA in Australia different parts Tokyo they were all marching and the media companies around the world didn't cover it and I think this is a very important thing Do you know, hundreds of thousands of children go missing a year thousands and i will get to the figures in a, in a in a bit but the media thought it was important enough this is a crime this these numbers what i'm seeing here this is a real pandemic and we need to deal with this urgently now another thing um that went on and, and and also there were fa like i was saying there was thousands of people marching and they, they 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 said it was only a couple of hundred and they called them to add insult to injury they called them conspiracy theorists which is a joke they're truth seekers they only want to know the truth now the weekend gone again i read that there were more marches and this was against lockdowns and against um masks and social distancing and in the uk last saturday they marched uh, to safalva square and uh, again the media phew, didn't even cover it 
but the media said there was a couple of hundred. No, Mr. Media, there were 40,000 people. In Germany, Berlin, they said there was 30 people marching. Again, outright lie. When you look on YouTube, you could, uh, from the YouTube vi video, I could see thousands. But it got confirmed there was over 4.5 million people marching. And again, they tried to say they trapped it, they stopped it, and so forth. And <laughs> when you read underneath the comments, it was, it was, it was laughable. People say, no, nope, they're lying, we're still here, and we're not going until the government retires. So, the media tell us one thing, but it's not the truth. So when people are, are saying that, well, maybe these conspiracy theorists could possibly be true, you have to look at it. Because this media, it's got a lot of blood on its hands. A lot of blood. Now, another thing I read, as it says from this quote, you know, I read, and I don't just read from, get my information from one source. I look at different sources, and if they all come together, and it tells me from here and all, so not just information I'm getting, but it hits me here and all, I run with it. But not just from one source. From different sources from different sources now this is uh, what I read about here is from dr. Marcus D burning and he's saying from an independent expert was commissioned Oxford University in London uh, who who, uh, who has oops um, which this is on the government website by the way and what it is, their own independent experts told them that masks are a total waste of time. This is a government's independent advisors. The government own independent experts told them cloth masks that people are wearing around their face are not just a waste of time, but they are actually dangerous. They're filthy and dirty and they're dangerous. So, and this is coming from the government's own independent advisors. I mean, I've also said in the past that um, um, Lord uh, Justice of the Peace, Lord Sumption, also said government white paper, government cabinet paper, sorry, said that this particular pandemic from 1918 to now they measured all the pandemics and they said this one comes right at the bottom anyway so why are we still continuing this thing and also I read that the uh, CDC which stands for uh, Center for Diseases Control and Prevention. Um, they um, they totaled all the deaths and they reconfigurated because they, it was inflated. All, we know that all these deaths around the world have been inflated. They've, did, they've just been adding everything together. But it confirmed, and they did this very quietly, by the way, that only 6% of deaths were recorded as COVID-19 only six percent which equates to nine thousand deaths everything else had um ha had had other issues but nine thousand and that's nine thousand deaths worldwide so if you break it up against uh different countries that died or to their uh stats died of COVID 19 well i wonder how much that might equate to in in, in the uk out of 65 million people I don't know, maybe 40 people. And we closed down the whole economy on that. Anyway, um, moving on to what I read. Going back to the children. But also, let me go back to this quote. Don't just teach your children to read. Teach them to question what they read. So...
this is missing children that goes missing around the world. There were 20,000 children that went missing oh, oh, in one year. 20,000 children went missing in one year in Spain. 25,000 children went missing in Australia. 39,000 children went missing in France. 40,000 children went missing in Brazil. 45 children went missing in Mexico. 50,000 children went missing in Canada. 100,000 children went missing in Germany. 800,000 children went missing in America. And 230,000 children, 230,000 children go missing in the UK every single year. This is a pandemic and is totally unacceptable. Where are these children going missing to and from? Where? where? But from the research I'm doing, it's disgusting. So, this to me is a real pandemic. The media don't even cover this. They don't cover this. They talk about maybe one child or maybe two children. These numbers, it, these numbers are, are a disgrace. And the only leader who I can see that's, that's attempted to deal with this is Trump. The person that everyone hates. And I hear they're rescuing hundreds of thousands of children from these underground tunnels. A lot of these countries, they say, have underground tunnels. And these ch children are being kept underneath these underground tunnels. But... Um, again, you've got to do research into this. It's massive, it's big, it's big. And this is why we're not finding these children because certain agencies are protecting each other and it's a bit of a, well, you could call it a conspiracy theorist, but uh, from what we're seeing, it's, it, it seems to be a fact. Because how could all these children be missing? What? Uh, that's probably the only logical thing that they are being kept in underground tunnels and from a guy that's been researching this say that these tunnels are as big as cities or as you know basically they're big yeah you could have shops and all this it sounds like a it sounds like a film it really sounds like a film but there's a lot of these underground uh, tunnels in a lot of our major cities around the world, in the UK, in America, in Mexico, in all these countries where these children are going missing. Mexico, the Philippines, Germany, all these places. And the only one that I hear is doing anything is Trump. So, you know, this is serious and this needs to be looked into. But... Going back to the quote, don't just teach your children to read, teach them to question what they read. Love the quote, love the quote. So guys, I think on that note, um, I've, I do a lot of reading and a lot of research. Yeah, guys, you've got one of these. Use it, yeah, use it. And our children, are our future we need to protect and guide these children because at the moment they're being attacked a lot of them are, are are feeling the anxiety of all this negativity that's been passed on to them they're being told to wear masks when it's totally inappropriate children are not affected by this thing yet they have to wear this this, this mask and if you check it with all these children that are going missing around the world with them wearing a mask, you could easily, easily abduct them now because they've all got masks on their faces. You could put a tape around their face and put it over the mask and abduct them. This is disgraceful. And the children don't need to be wearing these masks. They don't need to be wearing these masks. So, um, 
boy, what can I say? What can I say? But you know what? Information is coming out all the time. It's there for us to do the research. Don't just cut it off, yeah? Do your research. Don't believe me. Do your own research. I've had to do my research. You guys do yours. Let me know in the comments what you think. Please don't forget to like, share and comment. And um, hey, you know, it's about truth, justice. We only want the truth. And children should be encouraged to do research and to look for the truth. So this quote, don't just teach your children to read, teach them to question what they read. We need to be doing that and we need to be holding these people to account, hold our governments to account, the doctors to account, judges, law, everybody, the police, everybody to account. But there are good police officers out there. There are good nurses and doctors out there. There's even good politicians out there. But they need to be held accountable. They've taken away too much. They've been taking too much power. And they need to remember, they represent us. The people are the power, not the government. And the governments need to stop interfering with individuals' lives and let people get on what they need to get on with. You know, if they are uh, in considerable danger, you're not going to have to tell them every single day that they're in danger. You're not, and they're not going to have to penalize them by giving them fines which is illegal by the way uh you wouldn't have to do that because if it's a real danger people will comply you wouldn't have to tell them over and over again so i think that's something you've got to kind of evaluate too but guys let me cut it there and um i will catch you guys next week enjoy the rest of your weekend <laughs> and um yeah enjoy and take care